blessings, White Wolf. Bucks on Pharaoh will faint as soon as they see Respect, the Imperial Respect, Witcher. <laughs> be kicking themselves when they wake on seeing us with most of the booty. <laughs> be the first raid where the Black Monks deliver the food to our doors. Bran would slit that traitorous bitch's throat were he alive. And we should have drowned that whelp in deep water the day he was born. Looking for Ermion. Oh, he's in there with him. Pale as a beached carp. If he don't bring the brat in line, who will? But no, he says, the gods gave us a king. We must support him. Support what? Svanriga standing there like a mute fencing dummy, gazing on as that hag sells us to the black ones. Berna Bran arranged everything behind our backs. Why, well, she's not even denying it. Ah! I refuse to look upon this disgrace. Adventure seeker. Who is this? No one important? As I was saying, we shall discuss the details later. His Majesty accepts the document in its current form. Never thought I'd live to see the day. We are prepared to seal the treaty. How much would I need to pay you to take off her head, here and now? Nothing to be done. It's too late. The King pledges to fulfill all the conditions by the summer solstice. Before I sign, I wish to hear this from the King's mouth. Svanriga. We move out at once. He hear what the king said? Move! In Skellige, anyone can be king. All they need is the Jarls on their side. Sometimes a mediocrity gets just that. And the Isles get a ruler the clans don't respect. No one expected much of Svanriga, of Clan Twersech. But he went down in history as the founder of a dynasty. And as the king who united all the clans against Nilfgaard. Svanriga. Who could have known? The Jarls have one they can believe in again. And who brought you here? Come to make sure no scandal in Skellige passes you by. What happened to Ceres and Hjalmar? As soon as the Imperial fleet was spotted on the horizon, Hjalmar rallied the longships. Set sail to face it. Zerus went with him. Neither has returned. Listen, Ermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Orberus first know the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshi elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today, in Arambjorn, doubtless. You might ask the Pearl Divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. 
Hmm. Not too fond of him. That's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. Uh, one thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago, were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Ugh. Gods protect us. What do the druids think of Skellige's new ruler? Sven Riga will be but a tool in his mother's hands. I've long said Berner would never relinquish power after Bran's death. Should have claimed the throne for herself. Why didn't she? There are those who act openly. Those who prefer the shadows. Berna is clearly one of the latter. I expect in the end she will cross the clans, encourage feuds between them, then try to parley with the Emperor. Emperor signing a treaty with Skellige? Doubt it somehow. It's possible, though not as equal with equal. Farewell. Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft? Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Aye, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Risking a lot. Why? That a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters. Must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Hermion. Mm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? 
What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. Let our Valmar be held. Heard the milk were biting yesterday. What's that the supposed to oh, mean? I'd rather bear it right now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You needn't come with us. I haven't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something, and he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Just wonderful. I say, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damn thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. Hear that? Hmm. Came here for a reason. Hmm. So how do 
do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Ciri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Ciri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a fivesome, there's clearly no room. What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Jennifer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Emir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. This deal with Emir. It's sorcerer's business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. to not make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Huh. Ah! 
Come on! Lost. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh! No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You'll like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazair. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic, but perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you, and go. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you've things to do.